Now with autumn around the corner, a lot of trees will turn from green into a range of beautiful colors. And a lot of people will travel to the northern hemisphere to get a view of the colorful leaves. But what is it that causes the leaves to change color before they fall to the ground? Leaves are green because they contain chlorophyll and from early summer to about halfway through, the leaves are packed with chlorophyll which masks any other color that is present within the leaf other than the green that you see. The chlorophyll is important to the tree and the leaves since it collects nutrients by absorbing sun rays and then converts it into sugar and energy which works as nourishment for the tree. Leaves are full of veins that transport the important chlorophyll into and through the leaves. After weeks or months of the leaves being green from chlorophyll and working to get enough energy to the tree itself, the days get shorter and colder, which causes the leaves to cut off areas of itself from its chlorophyll. It does so with a type of cork cell. Starting with the outer parts of the leaf and works its way inward, this causes those parts to not receive any new chlorophyll, which is the green color that masks any other color present within the leaf. So the leaves don't really change colors, it loses one to reveal the others. The leaves turn into different colors in the fall, some turn orange and some yellow. So what decides what color the leaf ends up being, since some leaves will have different colors even within itself? Carotenoids, which is also present at the same time as chlorophyll, has the orangey and yellowy color that we see in the fall. So when the foliage loses its, its chlorophyll, the coloration from the still present carotenoids are revealed. Leaves that turn purple or reddish contain something called anthocyanins instead of carotenoids. In addition, to its chlorophyll. The difference between leaves containing anthocyanins and carotenoids is that those leaves containing anthocyanins don't do so until the end of summer, unlike the trees with carotenoids which is usually present from the start. Maple trees contain both carotenoids and produces anthocyanins at the end of the leaves life cycle, which makes them get their unique and beautiful multicoloration. Now you know how the leaves change its colors. Click the subscribe button and check out this video and learn something else. Stay interested.